goats are prolific eaters. They're browsers versus grazers. They like things they can reach up and pull down and eat. And not only do they eat kudzu, they'll eat brambles and briars. They'll eat all the bad stuff out there and leave the good plants. They helped us uh, corral and gain control of the kudzu in one location on the west side of the ridge. Uh, it's enabled us to uh, look at other ways to prevent the reoccurrence of the kudzu. We've given new life to the trees that were covered by the kudzu up there. They're back turning green now and growing. And it was so successful there, we decided to move over to the uh, east side of the ridge and attempt to duplicate our efforts. We've always had problems with the kudzu in that area, especially as fast as it grows, uh, dangling down in front of the tunnel and we'd have to send somebody up with weed eaters or whatever trying to kill it. Had the contractor run the fence, put up the fence, turn the goats loose, and believe it or not, the results uh, were better than we anticipated. You see trees that have regained their health. They're not covered with kudzu any longer. Uh, and we're starting to reclaim the area, if you will. One option is to send the goats back in again to keep it uh, nibbled down, if you will, to prevent the roots from getting nourishment. Another one is maybe use some type of selective herbicide up there uh, that's, you know, that's not harmful to uh, the beneficial plants. Uh, another option is to plant additional trees to shade the area. Kudzu is a very sun-loving plant, and if you deprive it of sunlight, it won't spread into the trees. Kudzu, the leaves are 21% protein. The vines and everything are about 8% protein. I mean, that's like a smorgasbord to a goat up there. I mean, they're in hog heaven.